question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Ilu Ilu City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. <laughs> Last year, we've witnessed a global wave of mass demonstrations against gender-based violence and the Black Lives Matter movement. If you could mobilize a group of people, what movement would you mobilize and why? I would call my movement the Mindful Movement. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death between pe people aged 15 and 29. Um, one in three people are expected to suffer from mental illnesses in their lifetime. So I believe that mobilizing people to strive for mental health would actually fix so many social ills in our society. And that is what I would mobilize. Thank you. It is important for education to be prioritized in our society, to change the narratives about mental health that exist. We have a collective responsibility to destigmatize and inform how we, as a society, view mental health. For any change to come about in our communities, we need to tackle the mind, the powerhouse, if the mind is conquered, we will go nowhere. As for South Africa, I'll be a representative of the beauty, resilience, and diversity that exists in this country. Thank you.